It's beginning to look a lot like Let's Play Paper Mario. That means welcome back, peoples. It's been a long time, so I don't fully recollect what happened last time. I think all we did was beat Tubba Blubba and got the third star spirit, pretty much. So, once again, we are back here at Peach's Castle. Nothing special. Um, I have a little special announcement for you guys today. Kind of off topic to the game. But, I got an early Christmas present from me father. It is, believe it or not, a widescreen HD TV. -na 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 -na. Yep. Bad news is, I have no HD support, so... Yeah, sad news for me. Now, in this interlude, it's pretty short. This time, Bowser actually catches Peach rather early. But, <laughs> doesn't completely figure out the, uh... Well, how Peach got out. <laughs> so, yeah, caught again. But for Bowser, a very appropriate time. Now here, you have to tell what, what three things Mario hates the most. In this we can choose either a Goomba, a Clubba, or a Mushroom. Uh, if you want to avoid battles, choose the Mushroom. But if you want experience, like I do, choose the Clubba. Uh, same here, either Fuzzy, Hammer Bro, or Thunder Rage. Um, Thunder Rage, I think it's an electric attack that attacks all enemies. I think it's 5 power. But... But I'm gonna choose Hammer Brothers for experience and to get another page in for uh, Mario's tattle. And again, Pokey, Koopa Troll, and Super so uh, Super Soda. I almost said Super Toker. Missed those. Yeah. Basically, the enemies in the middle are usually the t the stronger opponents. Those are Koopa Trolls. So Hammer Bros and Koopa Troll will be a little bit difficult later on in the game. Okay, that's pretty much the end of that. And we're back in front of the big windmill with Skolar. And here he gives us one of my favorite star powers. Called Star Storm. You'll see, you'll see that power in a bit. Basically, it attacks all enemies with 7 power. Yeah, really strong. However, that move requires two, two bars of your star power. As opposed to the last two only needing one. Now, of course, once again, we're switching a few badges. Okay, that be that. We're preparing ourselves for another battle coming up. Yep. See if you can guess who. Well, you all see in a moment. Alright, so now we're getting out of Gusty Gulch. Back to Frepper Forest, and getting the heck out of Frepper Forest while we're at it. Now, there was one more item I forgot to mention about Fre in Frepper Forest, called the Strange Leaf. Um, I honestly do not know where to find it. So, if you guys can find it, be sure to post a video response for me. Thank you. If you want. And here's our next battle. It's Junior Troopa once again. Our third battle against old J old JT. <laughs> Get it? Now this time he flies, so your hammer attack is useless unless you have hammer throw. Take it away, Goombario. 40 HP, five attack, one defense. So if you don't have to D down jump or bounce or whatever it is, then the Mario's the Mario's jump attack will only do one damage each. And it's best you not use Bow, since she only has one attack power anyways. So our best choice is to use Para Carry in this battle. Here it comes! Here comes a Smash Brothers reference. E.K. Star Storm! Yeah, not really good imitation. I wasn't trying to imitate somebody. But, what can you do? So I just took the aerial attacks and, um... Be, be sure you can time Junior Troopa's attack carefully. That does 5 damage, and boy does it hurt. And there's the D-Down Jump thing. I'll just call it D-Down Jump for the moment. 
Alright, that's the battle pretty much explains itself. Plus, Zap Tap kind of helps, so... I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's humor him, shall we? Boing. Boing. And Andrian Troopa fails again. Aww. Eight points away from our level up. And in case you're wondering why I sped up there, well, I had a little interruption again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, la laundry night, you know. Had to had to pick up some some clean laundry. So, yeah, interruptions. Don't you just hate those. Now you could just choose any other random exit to get out of here, but. <laughs> I tr I actually tried looking around to see if I can find the strange leaf. I wound up in one of the secret areas where one of the plus badges are. And it turns out that's your way that indicates your way out. I'm surprised I didn't notice that before. Now I thought I heard the boing boing of fuzzies. Still hate those. So I just had to heal myself. But yeah, like I said earlier, if you guys know where the strange leaf is. Be sure to post a video response, and that that way I'll know for sure. For the next time, anyways. And that's one way to get out of Forever Forest. Go in the go in one way and go out the wrong way. You know? Oh, forget it. Oh, we have new music. Something's going down in Toe Town, and it clearly ain't good. So, another switch o Rooney of the Badgies. And that was rather short. Yeah. Maybe I should use the spin here instead of just walking. Okay, a shy guy stole a frying pan. Maybe it's the kind Peach uses in Smash Brothers? Uh, now a calculator? Oh no, not a flower garden. Definitely not a flower garden. Especially not hers. You know that blue toad in the back there? The one's in the same um, general area? Well, let's just, let's just say he's got, a, he's got a little crush on this girl. But can't talk to her. It's a shame. No, that feels... Uh, anyways. That calculator belongs to that Ralph guy who sells badges. Um, until you give him that calculator back, you can't get, you can't buy any more badges from him. Now Merlin there was telling you the little oracle he heard. <clears throat> um, if you go to Dry Dry Outpost and um, run around a red, the red tree there a few times, one of the um, one of the um, civilians there will t will tell you a little something about here in Toe Town. But to shorten things up, just do th just do three ground pounds in Merlin's place, and you get a very useful badge, the Quick Change Badge. If you use this, you can switch party members without wasting a turn. This badge is a must-have for your inventory. Requires 4 BP, but worth every dime. Uh, so to speak. And momentarily, you will see the power of Quick Change. Very useful indeedy. Yep, 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 yes, yes, yes. All right. First, let's go to, to to the Toad House. Heal up. Uh oh. Doctor Mario says no more shy guys jumping on the bed or running on it. I probably should have worded that differently. Oh well. Too late now. So we're all healed up. And there's actually more shy guy activity we can we can uh, take care of. 
I think it's required. I'm not 100% certain. Now someone stole a dictionary. Now here's something I forgot to mention much earlier in the game. Any time when you, when you get back to Toad Town, you can come back to, uh, to Mario's place and find that Luigi's okay. And when you first go in there, when you, ha when you first enter with Goombario and everything, you actually go, go through a little cutscene. Sadly, I didn't show it, because I didn't think of it. Um, I'll probably put it up some other time. Maybe it's an extra video. Alright. Now, there are some small things to do in Mario's house, but it's not really required. Now, here you can check everything you've got. Coins, badges, star pieces, Chuck Quizmo's quizzes, um, battles, your first strikes, enemies' first strikes, and your total power bounces. Yeah, just basically keeping up to date with your stats. Um, you can also go to bed in Mario's pl in Mario's to um, restore your stats, and you can actually read fan mail from p characters you met so far in the game, including the including the ever popular Koopa Brothers. And down here, if you have the super boots, you can come down here to Luigi's secret room with Luigi's diary. Um, I'm not gonna read that now. I may do that as an extra video. Not 100% certain. Alright, that's pretty much all we can do here at Mario Manor. <laughs> now, let's just keep it going. Now, like I said, some of the stuff... I think most of the Shy Guy stuff is optional. Not required, but... Yeah. So now this store is open for use again. Wow, you ran awful fast. Alright. Nothing really much to buy here, so... Yeah, let's am spray. I was checking our star pieces. We got five with us thus far. And we'll probably pay a, pay a visit to Merlot later when we have a lot more. Now, what we should do here, at this point in the game, is to go back to the Toad Town Tunnels. Because we have another enemy to face. Yep, so many sub-bosses. Now, I made a mistake last time with the fight against Blooper. You're supposed to come this way first. The, the, the way I showed earlier in the, in the LP, that's, that's when you're supposed to go second. So, my error. So here we'll face a new Blooper. Blooper! This one's a little bigger and a little tougher. This is Electro Blooper. 50 HP, 4 attack, no defense. And like the previous one, it's got a head bonk and an ink attack. But this one's different. Occasionally, it'll electrify itself. So, if that happens, you know, well, don't do any physical damage to him. That was quick change, by the way. Stick to moves like um, Shell Shot, Star Storm, um, Hammer Throw, stuff like that. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that uh, I think the electricity does deal a bit extra damage, but I'm not 100 percent certain there. But to be on the safe side, I made sure that didn't happen. So power bounce away, and yeah, not really much else to say about this battle. And yeah, I'll be right back when this battle when this battle's over. My, as soon as I locked my youngest cat in my room again. came back a little bit early because I want to explain something. Uh, for those that are wondering, for some reason my account has now been able to upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Uh, I'm not sure what my new time limit is, 
but I have seen a couple of videos that have been one full hour and have been uploaded recently and that's somebody and the guy who posted those videos is not a YouTube partner no banner no partnership no nothing so yeah so yeah I think now this LP will be a little bit shorter but don't expect very very long parts I'm gonna try to keep it minimal well, maybe not minimal minimal, but I'll oh, forget it. You know what I mean. There goes Electro Blooper. Yeah, basically I'll cover more stuff in each part, but I'll try to make sure the parts aren't super long. So keep that in mind. Now when you defeat the blooper here, you get a switch. Hit the switch, we get three blue warp pipes. These blue warp pipes will take you to places you've been before, like Goomba Village. And now that we're back in Goomba Village, there's a couple of things we can get here. Remember the spot where Mario fell in the beginning of the game? Come back here with the super boots. Star piece! And remember where Mario fell over? You know. When the, when the veranda went timber and Mario with it? Well, apparently Goompa rebuilt it, and with it, we get the Shooting Star. It's really like, uh, really like Star Storm, only it has one less attack power. So yeah, that's really all. We, everything else we can cover here in Goomba Village. I may be missing something, but uh, well, we'll get to that later. Now the middle pipe here will take you to Koopa Village, the home of the Koopa Troopas. Uh, nothing really to do with this point in the game. Um, yeah. Let's just get. And the third pipe will take you to Dry Dry Outpost. And uh, to take to take care of that little prophecy that uh, Merlin was talking about, if you want to do it the long hard way. Yeah, that's the red tree there. You can defeat the blooper here and take this shortcut. Now, when we do the um, mini missions later, we won't have to worry about taking taking the long routes. And just take shortcuts. Okay, now let's explore the Toad Town tunnels a bit more. Uh, here we have a snowman doll. Ice power crushes all enemies on the field and does four four points of power uh, damage. Whew. You know, I'm not entirely sure I can talk for this long constantly. I may have to keep the parts short to keep to keep my lungs. All right. Now through here we got a couple of spiked Gloombas. Whoop! Made it. Now beyond here we have a Para Gloomba. Um, I can probably bring up its stats here. I don't know them, but I think it's the same as a regular Gloomba. Um, yeah. So I'll just put them up here. Yeah. And of course, since we're now very high level. We don't we we don't get any star points here. See, I remember that. Don't think you can grind so easily in this game. That's one successful power bounce. All right, let's cut the rest of this fight. And do we get zero star points? Oh no! Yeah. Speaking of star, there's a star piece up there. Now you'll need par carry to get that, but. We're gonna take a road trip first. Come down this way, this long winding road, to a trap door with another Paragloomba. And a spiked Gloomba. And let's scare these guys out of their pants. Oh, wait, they don't wear pants. Or do they? Oh well, they're gone either way. If they have pants, I'm sure they just wet them. <laughs> Alright. Now, past over here, we have another super block. And I, I usually save Goombario for last, but for the heck of it, I'm gonna upgrade him anyways, so he's not left out. 
Uh, when Gumbario levels up to super rank, he learns Charge. Which for which for a short amount of time, not sure how long, or at least until the next attack, his attack power increases. Um, excuse me, again. Um, I think it's by two each time. But, uh, yeah. Not sure if I'll be using Goombario for the rest of the game, except for Tattle, but... Yeah, I guess that's pretty much why people say he's useless. Well, he is the first party member you get in this game, so go figure. Okay, now... I think at this point there's... Oh wait, there's still one more thing to do. And let's... We're going down into this pipe... For a wasted trip. Uh, besides a buzzy beetle. Okay, so the spiked Goomba gives you one point. Alright, alright, we'll take that. Now here we need uh, we need our final the final hammer to get. The ultra hammer, but we ain't got it. And even if we did, it would be useless because well, all of our partners thus far have been up to super rank. So that super block is pretty much useless for now. So for the time being, I think we've... Oh, wait, I forgot there's one more bit. Avoid those guys. They surrounded us, and we lose them, somehow. I'll take that. And I will take that. It's Power Smash! Remember the Power Bounce? Well, now we got Power Smash. It's pretty self-explanatory. Alright, now I think we've done all we can so far in Toe Town Tunnel, so let's just get the heck out of here and continue with the game. And the main story, anyways. Okie doko! Um, I think at this point we're pretty much going to close it up here. So, after another, another badge change, which is over, um, we shall... <coughs> we shall... Well, yeah, pretty much just stop at this point, so... Oh yeah, I forgot. There's Twink again. I thought there's a shadow on the grass when he should be up in the air. N64 to Virtual Console glitch? Oh wells. And away he goes. Now that there is Chet Rippo, I think. Uh, for a certain amount of coins, he can change your stats. Basically, he'll up one by two levels, but decrease two by one level. So if you wanted more HP, but you'd you'd lose one level in FP and one level in BP. I suppose that I suppose you could use him for for certain reasons, but we'll ignore that for now. Anyway, we'll just save here and call it quits. Next time, Paper Mario, we shall find out where the shy guy toy box is. So I can explain that earlier. And see if we can find the fourth star spirit. Uh, until the next time, YouTubers. See you later. By the way, I love my new HDTV. It rocks.